the last drill in his last session before his debut last year he injured his knee it's been a long 12 months for Sam Skinner now Schofield the fork wasn't bought by Skinner he buried him straight into the turf to win the free kick oh, he loves it what a great tackle isn't he a brute this kid he loves it what a now, ripper because you faced a fair bit of injury particularly in the last uh, few years of your career so you you'd have an affinity with a guy like Sammy Skinner who, who made his debut after a couple of uh, knee reconstructions, uh, made that debut over in the game versus West Coast in Perth a few few weeks back. Uh, How did you feel when he went out when you ran out there with him and when he kicked his first goal? Um, yeah, I, I was really proud. Um, obviously I spent, I spent a good uh, probably 12 to 18 months with Sam in rehab, so I got to know him pretty well. Um, formed a really good relationship with him. Um, so to see all the work that he'd done um, to get himself in the position to be able to, you know, one, play again, but two, actually play an AFL game was um, an extremely proud moment for myself and, um, you know, his family as well. And uh, to see them all come over to Perth and see him in the rooms and, and Jed Adcock presented him his jumper and gave a little bit of a spiel on Sam that day. It was, um, yeah, it was quite... It was quite an emotional time. You could see his dad over there, um, his dad Craig, and he's an emotional guy like Sam. When I think Sam was, was told that he was playing, he choked up a little bit. And mm. His dad was the same. I was looking at his dad when he was giving the speech. So you could just see how, much, how proud they were of him um, and how much work he'd done to get there. Um, and then he actually you know, he contributed really well to the side. He, you know, he came out and I think he laid a tackle on Will Schofield. And, um, put him into the dirt. And I remember watching the vision that night and uh, the most excited commentator in the box was Dermot Brown. He loved the tough stuff and yeah. can see what Sammy's got to offer to our club. So Yeah, that tackle was obviously his first highlight um, and then he kicked a couple of goals with it. So yeah, it was a really exciting time for him and his family and um, everyone involved in the footy club because they've, they've watched Sam obviously do it tough the last 18 months and um, to see him smile again and and kick those goals was an awesome moment. He was pretty tired in the second half. I remember looking at him trying to run after the ball in that last quarter after all that time out of the game. He, he looked a bit tired, but he was a very happy man.